Fully enclosed CO2 lasers are super versatile machines. Their ability to cleanly cut through materials like plywood and acrylic with little to no dust and sound sets them apart from CNC machines and makes them perfect for household maker spaces. This is the X-Tool P2, a 55 watt CO2 laser, complete with a full enclosure, built-in vent fan, and two cameras so fitting your design to your workpiece is perfect every time. Today we'll take a look at what it takes to set this machine up and run a few test projects. After unboxing the unit and removing all the packaging, there's only a few things we have to do to get this ready for cutting. First, we need to inspect the laser tube for any shipping damage and then fill the reservoir with antifreeze and distilled water. The tube and pump are housed on the back of the machine, making the unit relatively self-contained. After priming the system and giving it one last top up, it's ready to start cutting. There's a handful of safety features on this machine as well. Firstly, there's a lid lock that prevents opening the machine while in use. And there's a large emergency shutdown switch on the side of the machine in case anything should go wrong. The tinted glass lid and chamber LEDs give you a good view of what's going on during cutting. One nice thing here is that the lights dim when opening the machine and increase to full strength when the lid is closed to give you a better look through the tinted safety glass. The X-Tool website has presets for cutting, scoring, and engraving a handful of materials. Kind of a bummer that these aren't built into the software, but I'm sure there's a way to import them. For my first project, I wanted to engrave some of my wife's artwork on this IKEA phone stand that I grabbed at the thrift store. Since the laser auto focuses, we can input the material thickness or use the depth gauge on the tool head itself to automatically sense the material's depth. In the software, you get a general overall view of your material with the wide angle lens. And when it comes time to line things up perfectly, we can use the close camera to take a picture exactly where we want the design. I ended up running the engraving a second time to increase the contrast of the design, but I think this is just a case of the material not being ideal for engraving. It's laminated bamboo, and I'm also trying to engrave on end grain, so let's try something else. I found a handful of awesome laser cutter projects online in DXF format, so I threw this cool acrylic pencil holder design into the Xtool software. I loaded up some acrylic and placed my design. One super cool thing about laser cutting acrylic is that the edges come out perfectly transparent and after removing the protective film and assembling, here's the final pencil holder. Pretty amazing that something like this took under 10 minutes to cut and assemble. Next I threw a PNG of a Fortnite No Dancing sign into the software. 
From here, I use the built-in tools to convert it to vector and duplicate a few layers to create depth. Again, I referenced the Xtool site for speeds and power settings and loaded up some 3mm plywood. This took less than 5 minutes to cut, and the results are awesome. Coming from the CNC world, edges like this are kind of mind-blowing. No tear-out, no pass marks, and nothing to sand. This thing is ready for paint and assembly right out of the machine. Next, I took some time to vectorize a drawing my wife did of our dogs to let my neighbors know that we have vicious animals on the premises. I separated it into two files, a vector cut file and a bitmap engraving file. I first ran the engrave file with the suggested settings and here are the results of that. The engraving's a little bit faint, but I'm sure with a little tinkering to the settings I could get this to really pop. Next I imported my cut file and used the close up camera to align it. I think one of the most satisfying things about laser cutters is removing the waste while your perfectly cut design remains on the bed of the machine. Here's the finished sign. Again, it's a little faint, but I plan to add some oil to these pieces so hopefully the engraved portions soak it up and get a little darker. Next, I wanted to see how deep I could cut, so I threw some thick material into the machine. First, I started with this 11mm piece of black walnut. After finding the right settings, I got a nice clean cut out of this, which is super impressive. Next, I put a 1 inch piece of acrylic in. Again, this cut right through, and here's that crystal clear edge I mentioned earlier, which is super cool. With a price tag of $5,000, this machine beats out some of the competition while not cutting corners on features and fit and finish. Special thanks to Xtool for sending this machine in exchange for an honest review. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see this laser cutter used in a handful of other projects. As always, thanks for watching and happy making.